Hey guys, this is Mohamed, and why is it that every time you hit that record button, I lose my train of thought? Why is that? But in this video, I'm going to talk about shooting log format, whether it's S-Log for Sony cameras, V-Log for Panasonic cameras, C-Log for Canon cameras, and so on and so forth. And specifically, I'm going to talk about when and where you need to shoot log, and when and where it's suggested to not shoot log. So we're shooting log right now, you know, V-Log on the Panasonic GH5 in this very high contrast situation where I'm sitting in the dark, and it's a huge source of light behind me, you know, hitting through the windows, the sun. So very quickly, I'm going to show you how this thing looks on the Leica 709 profile on the Panasonic GH5. So here it is with the 709 picture profile, and you can see the highlights are completely blown out. So the purpose of log or shooting log is to preserve the highlights and the shadow information in very high contrast scenes. Now, when you first get your hands on a camera that is capable of shooting log, that's all you do. That's all you shoot. Anywhere and anything is shot with log. That's what I did when I got my Panasonic GH5. I shot anything, anywhere, at any time with the V-Log L. But there are actually a few situations where not shooting in log helps you. So the first situation where you don't want to shoot log is in low light situations, at night or indoors. And everybody says, don't shoot log at night. But why is that? What's the reason? So there are a couple of reasons for this. And the first reason is that log induces more noise in the footage. So when you're shooting at low light situations and you're already raising your ISO to have a decent exposure, it's better to shoot in flat profiles rather than log profile to not have as much noise. And the other reason is usually at night or indoors, there is not a huge dynamic range that you need to cover. It's usually not a very high contrast situation. So you're not gaining anything from using log profile. And for those of us that like to color grade our footage, you can still match the colors from the log to your flat profile if you know how to color grade properly. Another reason for this is sometimes it's harder to get decent skin tones while color grading log footage in low light situations. situation where not shooting log would be an advantage is in low contrast scenes. And the reason for that is it's harder to nail focus uh, in those situations in very low contrast scenes when shooting log depending on your equipment. So if you have a monitor that you can overlay lots on and see the scene in full color and you know it's high resolution monitor then it's relatively easy to nail focus. And if your camera does not support overlaying LUTs over its LCD to see the scene with normal colors, then it might be harder for you to manually focus as well. But if you have a camera that's autofocusing, it might be harder for the camera to nail and keep focus on the subject in those very low contrast scenes. So please subscribe to my channel because in the next video that's coming out in a couple of days, I'm going to show you how you can get Ari Alexa colors from your Panasonic GH5. So please leave a like, let us know what you think in the comments, and like I said, subscribe to my channel. Till next time.